Over the past four decades, Mauritius has grown from a monocrop economy to a multi-pillar economy. During the 1980s, considerable investments were made. Capital investments nearly tripled from 11.3% of GDP in 1982 to reach a peak of 30% in the early 1990s. In recent years, however, the investment rate plunged to less than 20% in 2014, its lowest level in the past decade. Sustained by economic growth, unemployment remained contained at 7%. Recently, however, youth unemployment has increased with more than 40% of the unemployed being below 25 years old. The country is faced with a problem of skills mix, with increased demand for skilled workers in financial services and ICT compared to textile and sugar. What now? Mauritius has done well, undertaking structural reforms, opening up the economy, liberalizing exchange rate and diversifying into new sectors. However, long-term growth is declining, partly as a result of zero population growth and the expiry of trade preferences. Other factors, such as impediments in policy implementation, labor market distortions and infrastructure gaps, have also had a negative impact on the economy. Going forward, the country's objective is to attain a high income status by 2020. To reach this, a new wave of reforms would be required to boost long-term growth to over 6%. Public sector administration is emerging as a barrier for growth. Comprehensive reforms to improve public institutions, together with increased private sector involvement in the water, transport and energy sectors, should help remove bottlenecks, increase efficiency, as well as enhance productive spending. Long-term prospects could be improved by tackling infrastructure gaps. Traffic jams, limited air access, state control facilities and high communication costs. While government has planned a significant investment program, actual expenditure has been low, highlighting inefficiencies in implementation. Further, given the budgetary constraints, private sector involvement should be encouraged through public-private partnership initiatives. Better collaboration between the public and the private sector is also needed in education to address skills mismatch and promote a more dynamic workforce. The rise in unemployment indicates the challenge in absorbing unskilled and semi-skilled labour. Mauritius has a rigid wage system and there is a need to address the balance between labour protection and market flexibility. The wage setting mechanism should be reviewed to reward productivity and support innovation. To improve the education system, investment is fundamental. There have been improvements in tertiary enrollment, rising from 3% in 1990 to 50% in 2013. However, tertiary attainment remains at a low 10% in Mauritius, compared to 30% in many Asian countries. Other avenues for growth also need to be explored, and this includes positioning Mauritius as a hub between Asia and Africa. The growth potential of the air and sea ports should be unlocked by increasing traffic and trade flows. The emergence of other activities such as bunkering will call for measures to encourage private sector participation. There is a need for the island to establish itself as a jurisdiction of substance and move up the value chain. Mauritius must become a place for regional headquarters, high-end knowledge-based services, wealth management as well as asset management. Refinements to the domestic laws together with incentives will help to attract FDI and highly skilled foreign professionals. With a more efficient government administration to assess projects quicker, investor confidence should improve and make it easier and faster for the private sector to take risks and make investments. The government's objective to achieve higher GDP growth should be balanced with its ability to operate within the desired macroeconomic parameters, debt to GDP ratio, inflation and budget deficit. Private sector participation is essential to ensure that those parameters are respected. Will the country achieve a new economic miracle and graduate to a high income nation status? Visit our website to find out more.